Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you are watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. So today I will be posting my 100th video. So I'm so happy about that. When I started this channel, I couldn't imagine going past a few videos, but now look where we are. So just as a bit of a throwback, my first video was the original Rider weight pack. Um, it was an RWS because it's one of the first few decks that I um, that I had and I started learning with. And it isn't in my collection anymore, but I do have four RWS decks here. And I wanted to show you each one of them. These are the ones that I currently have in my collection. And let's talk through whether I will be keeping all of them because I don't really think I need to. <laughs> so just a little info about me. Uh, I am very much a tarot student. I just started learning about tarot about a year and a half ago, but I don't read for others. I don't read professionally. I mostly read just for myself. So it's a very, um, I wouldn't say casual because I'm really into it, but it's just something that I do for myself and occasionally friends and family. So I don't really need a ton of decks, but I do have a ton of decks. And honestly, the RWS imagery on its own, it's not something that I'm really drawn to, but I do recognize the history behind it and the role that it played in the popularity of tarot. So that's why I do have a lot. So a little bit of story time and if you want to skip the story it's totally fine i have timestamps to all my videos so you can skip right to the deck uh, that you're interested in so i'll be showing you a few cards talk to you about what i like or what i don't like about that particular deck and let's just see whether i'll be keeping all of these decks by the end of the video so that's the goal uh, but a little bit of a story time my first deck was actually a version of the Smithway Tarot Centennial. However, it was actually a counterfeit deck. And the reason for that is because I didn't really know any better. It was really just a casual thing for me. And I was searching through one of the online shopping malls or shopping places, pretty much like Amazon here in the Philippines. And I just wrote there, I think an RWS or a Rider Waite Tarot. And I kid you not, all of the results I would later find out would be counterfeit. So I just pick one um, and I purchased the deck and when I got it, I was a little bit surprised because I was, it was smaller than the decks that I would see on YouTube, on those pick a card readings. And, and then I started researching and learning and found out that uh, counterfeit decks were actually very rampant in the tarot community. Now, I'm not here to lecture about whether you should buy whether you should or shouldn't buy counterfeit decks. Definitely, I urge you not to support bootleg decks and go for the original. But I also understand that there are a lot of reasons why people might opt to buy counterfeit decks. Um, one could be like me, it could be an honest mistake, I didn't really know any better. Um, to some people, uh, it really might be because of the price and all of these things. But personally, I made a conscious decision and I told myself that I wouldn't be supporting or buying any more counterfeit decks. I do sometimes get uh, decks from people who know that I'm into tarot and for some reason or another, they give me a counterfeit deck, probably because they also didn't know um, that it was counterfeit or that it was a bootleg copy. And I still uh, very much appreciate those gestures. Uh, whenever they give me those decks. But I don't use those cards for readings. Uh, I, but of course, I don't really just want to throw them away. So sometimes I use them for study or for when uh, I, I need a reference or for some other project that I could use those cards for. But yeah, so story time over and a little bit of my thoughts on uh, counterfeit decks. Uh, definitely, I urge you not to support them. There are so many other places that you can get authentic decks and if the price is uh, is the factor. There's actually a lot of secondhand groups uh, or shops that, that sell decks at a reasonable price and they're still in great condition and still very much better quality than those that you would buy if you were to purchase uh, a bootleg or a counterfeit deck. So yeah, now that story time is over and I've given my thoughts about uh, counterfeit decks and bootleg decks, decks and all that. Let's go 
let's go into the video, right? So I'm going to be showing you my four RWS decks. So I have the Practical Tarot Wisdom using the Rage and Try the Read deck. I have the Wade Smith Centennial Commemorative Set. I have the Original Tarot by the the Bride, the Brie. <laughs> not, not really sure how to pronounce it. And also the 100% Plastic Rider Tarot deck by US Games. So probably let's start with the one that I'm sure I will be keeping in my collection. And this is the Practical Tarot Wisdom. So this is a small deck. Uh, it uses the imagery of the Regent Rider weight. So the colors are bright and vivid, which is something that I do like and appreciate. There is no guidebook with this, but you already have the meanings and some snippets and practical tarot wisdom on the right side. Now, I love this deck because of its portability, the size, um, the ease of reading, because you really don't have to think about this. Uh, I use this for friends who are not really into tarot but are kind of curious about tarot. It's very, uh, it's very easy, and it's not, not intimidating at all. If I if I bring this to a party and uh, start reading, because it's really it just has these um, meanings or practical advice at the right side or things that they can think about that. I don't really have to do much to explain, and it also resonates with them. So this deck, it's it's uh, the size. I like the size. Um, I can't be full shuffle this deck, but I can size up. But I can overhand it uh, really easily, which which is fine. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm this this deck is definitely a safe one in my collection. By the way, all of these decks are mass market decks. In case you were wondering. Now the next deck uh, that I'll be showing you is this 100% plastic Rider Tarot deck. So it's the, the original and only authorized edition. This is by US Games. So it comes in this uh, two-piece box with a, uh, with a lid on top, which is very loose. <laughs> I mean, you have to uh, either pack this side with something so that it doesn't come off or put a rubber band on top of it so that it doesn't open unexpectedly. So again, uh, no guidebook, but you do have a little white book, which has some meanings on the cards. Now this deck, um, I purchased it because I was looking for an indestructible <laughs> Rider Waite Smith. And if you see that, of course I wouldn't recommend that you do that, that you fold your deck like that. But if you just pull it a bit, it goes back like nothing ever happened. So as uh, it is named by uh, the uh, plastic, 100% plastic deck, so you can wash it, get it wet, um, and it'll be fine. So it's, it feels virtually indestructible, I swear. Like, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest that you do this, but, but yeah, even if you crumple it, it just snaps back into shape. And that is what I love about it. Now the backs are these flat backs that are that are really pretty. For some reason, I really like those backs. Um, but this deck, although it shuffles well, uh, riffle shuffles well, I might say. Sorry, let me just put it here. So it riffle shuffles well because of the cardstock. It's flexible and uh, it's thin because of its, its plastic. But since it's so soft and flexible, it's hard to overhand. And it is very <laughs> slippery. So probably just takes some getting used to, but if you're used to um, paper cards and you're not used to this card stuff, it might take a while for you to adjust. Now, another thing about this deck is that the yellows or the coloration seems a little bit too yellow. So later on, maybe I'll do a comparison with the uh, with the original tarot, but yeah, the, the the yellows are very striking in this deck, which uh, might bother some. <laughs> yeah, but the coloration, not just the yellows, I mean the overall coloration is not as good as it could be. Yeah, so yeah, I'll show you the magician later to tell you what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know if I'm 
I don't need to keep this deck, I'm sure, but I feel like I want to keep it just because it's it's indestructible. <laughs> and it's going to be with me for a long time. And uh, I can take it to places where, uh, you know, maybe if I would be reading outdoors for some reason, in the beach or in a restaurant, and I wouldn't worry about it getting wet or, I don't know, <laughs> trampled or stepped on. So it's, although the coloration isn't something that I completely like it's just I think it's still worth keeping in my collection at the moment so probably I'll still keep this one but but if ever if I did you know have like a purgatory drawer or anything like that it would probably live in it but I, I'm not I don't think I'm ready to completely pass on this deck at the moment now another deck that I think is pretty safe in my collection is the original tarot. So this is produced by the the bride, the Brie, not really sure. Um, but yeah, it just comes in this simple top box. Now I haven't read with this because I don't really read with the RWS. Mostly it's for reference and um, more of a learning deck for me. And I do read with this one a lot though. So it has a pretty decent guidebook. It's colored, it has the meanings, the symbolism, and then the upright and reverse keywords. So it's much better than uh, than the it's much better than the little white book that you get from the plastic deck. But in the minors you mostly just get shorter snippets or information. But yeah, so basically you have this tarot guidebook. And the cards, these are the backs, reversible. And it comes in this really beautiful linen cardstock, which is one of my favorites to shuffle. But I haven't used this deck, so you'll see it's actually pristine. It's still in order. But what I like about this deck is that the I love the colors here. It's like the brightness is the right amount of brightness and saturation of color for me. It feels very crisp and neat. Um, I think they recolored this or uh, not redrew, I'm not sure what the term is, but um, you'll notice that the lines are a lot cleaner compared to um, a traditional RWS. And uh, let me show you, oh, I said, why did I keep it? But I said I'll compare uh, some of the cards. So here's the magician from the plastic deck. and. And you see here, this is mostly just yellows, and at least this one has a different skin tone. So I really like the coloration on this deck. It feels like a cleaned up version of the RWS. And it being a linen cardstock, I, I feel that it will shuffle really well. So let me just do a test. And it does. <laughs> but I don't really want to... Let me pull that apart because I don't really want to shuffle it because I, I don't want to get it out of order. But I feel this deck, since it ticks off my boxes, I mean, it has good, it has good cardstock. I like the coloration. I feel that if I would ever be called to read with an RWS deck, this would be the one that I would use. Uh, so that being the case, I think... I would definitely be keeping the original uh, the original tarot together with my practical tarot wisdom. Okay. Let me just put this back in the box. The so boxes aren't my favorite uh, packaging, but it does it does what it needs to. So let me just uh, fix this up. And move on to the last deck that I want to show you. And for this one, I think I'll move these decks to the side so that we have space. Okay. So this is the Wade Smith or the Smith Wade Tarot Centennial Edition commemorative set. Uh, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. 
let's start with the one on the left side so it, it it has a lot of things inside it so it really is like more of a collector's edition again this is one of the decks that i've never really read with i haven't shuffled but i mostly keep for reference and just yeah it's a commemorative thing so it has here the art a book on the artwork of pamela Col coleman smith so we have some information about her and you have her other pictures of her other art. So if you're a Pixie fan, you might really love this set because it talks a lot more about her other work aside from the RWS Tarot. So that is uh, one of the books that you get here. You also get this um, spread. For a spread booklet so you have a three card spread the woven spread like a celtic cross and the five card love spread you have the pictorial key to the tarot which is a chunky book basically this is the the information about about uh, about the cards and um the art on the cards so i haven't really honestly i haven't read through this at all wasn't really called to <laughs> But but yeah, it has a lot of information and it's a very thick, chunky book. And then you also have these postcards and these are actual postcards that you can use about, oh, that showcase Pixie's art. Really pretty. So yeah, and of course you have here the Empress. <clears throat> Picture of Pixie. So that is what is on the left side of this commemorative set. So let me just close that. On the other side, you have the deck. So uh, like I mentioned, I haven't really used this. This is still in order, so it's in pristine condition. And it also comes with this bag that you can use. So yeah, let's just put that there. Now the coloration of this deck is a little bit more muted and toned down. I was initially drawn to this and that's why my first deck was actually a version of the Wade Smith Centennial but I don't know it's like as I got more decks I realized that I'm actually more drawn to color which is why the decks that I'm keeping or the other decks that I have are brighter or you know the brighter colored versions of the rws and i think you already know where i'm going with this but i can technically keep this deck for uh sentimental reasons because it's it was mm, kind of kind of like my first deck but it takes up a lot of space and i'm never i don't really think that i would be ever called to read with it because if, if I do, I would probably just pick up the Practical Tarot Wisdom or the original tarot. So I don't... I'm at this point now in my collection or in my practice that I don't want to keep decks that are just there to be kept. It's different from the decks that I like for the art, don't read with, but I really appreciate the art because those I still keep or still collect. But this deck... I feel it really is just taking up space at the moment and I can't close it okay, okay. and yeah so uh, that being said this one definitely something that I will be rehoming and let's recap the practical tarot wisdom I love this deck definitely a keeper the original tarot also something that I would be keeping so these are two that I'm, I will be keeping in my collection. And undecided at the moment is the 100% Plastic Rider Tarot deck. Right now, I think I'm still inclined to keep this deck, but yeah. And, and looking at it now, you know, even though I'm just going to be decluttering or rehoming one deck, it's basically taking up the space of all these other decks that I am keeping. <laughs> Maybe that's also a factor because I do have limited space um but 
yeah so so i hope you like this video if you find it helpful seeing the different versions of the rws smith deck please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it i post videos at least once a week and i'll see you again next time bye